Shorty said, why is seven blunts in the ashtray? I said, I'm stressed. I used to get mine the fast way. If I had a bad day before poo, I got the mass bay. Stayed inside this house, ma. It was called a halfway. Band in the living room now. Showed up my cache. So we have to go to Utah to see the jazz play. Get it to jazz play. Killer with a bad bay. Five nine war size five man. I used to bag yay. Now I be with Michael Irvin. Interviews with Stevie A. On the field with Deion Sanders. What more do I need to say? I was in the projects on the staircase drinking E and J. Yeah, I use EBT. Then a PB and J. Now all these bitches want to do consume my DNA. Everybody like Mr. Giles with the ETA. Me being broke, you won't see the day. Sugar digger up, cause all he said was can't lead the way. With this shit, I'm so bored. I swear to God, I'm no Ford. Ocean view year round. February snowboard. Girls cars go on. Chains bikes, oh lord. Got with Mark Jack. Y'all won't fire him no more. And no, we ain't signing, we doing partnerships or distribution, we take a small part of it. We gon' get this thing right for years, we been targeted, so black sticking together now seem like the hardest shit. But I pay market it, such as yeah, I sharpen it. Somebody let them know the swimming pool got a shark in it. This whole thing easy, man, I used to run from noxious shit. Turn me to a madman, hustler, narcissist. I'm begging you, please don't take part in this menace. Low in the cartridges, word to Marvin, I'm marvelous. Member Lamborghini, rubber sole under the ostriches. Told you I'd do sports, you would've looked and said preposterous. Real estate, Mr. Papadopoulos. I think I want a roller coaster. Put that on my shopping list. No, I'm not monogamous. Dick. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. The app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. It will also match your first deposit up to $100 and you get a special pick when you sign up. Of course, I'm Treasure Wilson, aka Stat Baby, along with your host, Mace and Cam. Killer was good, man. What's good, man? How you? You all right? Yeah, man. How you are? Oh, How you feel, man. man. How you feel? Nobody's in the in um, playoffs for college. <laughs> <laughs> what color is that? North Carolina today? <laughs> but you saw the basketball season already? You just switched over I the moved bed. on. <laughs> <laughs> I done moved on to yeah. North Carolina, you know. <laughs> basketball season already? All right. You sure that's North Carolina? That's not a... That's not Kansas no more. Because the glasses is Kansas or Duke. It might be it's or, or, it's, or Kentucky. It's Tobacco Road. Okay, okay. It's the big blue state, you yeah, know. Maurice, Maurice wanted to know if we could come on early. He wanted to come on today. I, I said, I said, nah, just be patient. We we, we going to do it the regular day. We do it. Mo was trying to get on today, though. But yeah, he, he can't wait. He need to talk to you, he said, man. Yeah, I got my Oregon hoodie. I got to wear. He told me I got to wear the Oregon oh, yeah, hoodie. Oh, you got to wear Oregon hoodie. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Indiana Pacers secure their Eastern Conference semifinal spot for the NBA in-season tournament after defeating the Celtics 122-112. to 112. Do you see them winning the semifinals? Oh, man. Ooh. Pacers look tough right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, every time we think that, you know... And I can't say we unless Killer agree, but <laughs> every time I think about the Pacers, like they're they're one step away. Every time they get against a team that should be a step away from them, they prove that they belong. So it's like a real hard case that they're making, especially the way even with underdogs. Shout out the you know our partners when when we're talking about the 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 um bets and everything that. Even Halliburton, how you say his name? Halliburton. Halliburton. Yeah, every time he gets against a good guard, it's like he he proves he belong on a whole nother level. It's like the 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 thing we was talking about. Would he get that many points? I want to look back. I think he got those points, and he got it against a 
a Celtic team that got crazy wingspan on a perimeter. He's just having his way. This is breakout year. Um, I totally agree. Look, I still am. That's why I said as far as um, seeing who's going to win, because I, I just don't understand. And maybe I haven't paid enough attention to see how, why people are getting, getting eliminated because the Spurs were like eliminated two weeks ago. <laughs> and like they was, they would seem like they never was in this shit. And people are getting eliminated last week, and and now it's the semifinals. I don't even know who they playing. Like who who are they playing? Stat like yeah. What? So next they'll play whoever wins the Bucks versus Knicks. Okay. So oh my then God. that will decide who's it for the East, and then next yeah. is the Suns and the Lakers. Oh my! I, I tell you, I, I tell you one thing, boy. This is what I will say, bro. Do not let the Knicks win this shit. They, 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 this is their championship. Is so, if the Knicks, all we would the, need. That's yo. all we would need. If the Knicks win this, the niggas got a championship. Yo, they did win the end season. Yo, fam, nigga, yo, it would be no end to nobody. Sin City, whoever else, all these yeah. niggas. If the Knicks win the end season championship, shit good, shit good for the next 97 years. Yo, we won the end season yeah. 17 years we, from now. What you talking about? We won the end season <laughs> in 2023. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? They're going to the playoffs like Miami, like Stat does about Miami if they win this. What? Yo, the whole city, yo, my <laughs> nigga, this shit would... Look, I don't want the Knicks to win something like we were selling OJ... Yesterday, me and Mace <laughs> haven't been alive to see the Knicks win any type of championship. But this isn't the championship that niggas really want, B. But trust me, if you get this, Nick fans will lose their mind. Um, as far as Indiana is concerned, uh, I have Mace said it. I couldn't say it any, any better. Any better. I don't know exactly what happened, and we talked about this on a previous show, between Luca and... And, and the coach for Indiana. I can't think of the name off the top of my head right now. Um, yeah, Carlisle. Rick, Rick Carlisle. Something happened. Rick Carlisle has is, is got Dallas their only championship. <laughs> yeah. So he, I know Mark Cuban would not get rid of Rick Carlisle and he got them their own championship. I don't know what happened because even when he left, mm -hmm. it wasn't that he got fired. It was one of them joints where like, we mutually agree to split ways. Like, if you didn't want Rick Carlisle, if Rick Carlisle didn't want to coach no more, why did he end up in Indiana? And I think he's a great basketball mind, and we got good players with a great basketball mind. These are the results. Does he have superstars on the team? No, but he has good players that could turn into all-stars. So the way Mace put it is great. But as far as the in-season tournament is concerned, I'm waiting until the four teams are left. Yeah. And uh, I'll make a prediction from there because I, it's been throwing me off for the last month. I think it's dope, a great idea. I see all the players were energetic, hype about it. But trying to figure out Group A, Group B, Group C, uh, still write movies, still write rhymes, still go on <laughs> to do shows. So you should we still study all the other sports that we're trying to do. It's just a damn mess. So I've been waiting for the final four teams to get in. But I will say this. Celtics. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I said, if the Knicks win, you you can't see Nick back there talking about something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He praying this shit. This is the shit New York is. This is the hype about. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't know if this will be good. I don't know. I think it's even crazy about the Celtics losing because you got you got Jalen Brown getting thirty. Then you got um, Tatum getting thirty two. And when you play good, this is what I wanted to ask you, Killer. When you play good and you still lose, like when you have such a crazy game, doesn't that say something? Well, you know, that's, I think, I can't speak for you, but I think that's why I picked Milwaukee because the Celtics um, season depended on Porzingis and Porzingis is not available. Like he's not yeah. available every time this year. Look, we've seen the Jalen Brown and, and uh, Tatum's Tatum story. Yes, yeah, the show yeah. story. It isn't like it's a new show. You know what I'm saying? I know I know. Holiday is there. They have Marcus Smart. I'm, I think Holiday is a little better than Marcus Smart. But at the end of the day, I said for the South, I would like the Celtics if Porzingis was available all season. He was looking like the unicorn in the beginning of the season. Oh, 30, 28. Mm -hmm. He's the new nigga on the team. Boom. He's unavailable. How long? Indefinitely. I just see reports that he's supposed to come back Thursday, maybe. But their season, as far as, to me, getting to the championship 
let alone the Eastern Conference Championship, is depends on Porzingis because surprisingly, uh, the Sixers look great. Yeah. Sixers look real great. They did Tyrese Maxey is elevating into his role. He had a 50 piece already this year. Um, uh, I think Joel Embiid is tired of niggas saying, uh, when's the when's the process over? When's the process over? Philly is looking really good. I'm still gonna go with Milwaukee, but right now, I would maybe put Philly above Boston. Mm-hmm. Until further notice about Porzingis. Like I said before, I think he's the only player because of whatever goes on with his body, 7'3". So, you know, them niggas got all type of bone fr- um, structure problems or whatever. The only person I would put on load management pause would be him. Are you ready to put the... um? Who is that? You ready to put... Who is that team? Um, You ready to put Philly where we put... um? Boston, like they're good until something happens. Um, no, yeah. well, look, Boston still leads the whole Eastern Conference as far as record is concerned, and surprisingly, Orlando's in second place. Yeah, you got Orlando in second Shout place. Out to Florida, right? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here, we go. <laughs> Here we go. That was my part of town. Actually, <laughs> that was actually my part of town for two minutes, but. Um, Orlando's in second, Milwaukee's in third, Philly's in fourth, the Knicks in fifth, uh, Indiana's in sixth. So I'm not counting the Celtics out. Um, and I'm not I'm not sure if I'm putting Philly where Boston is. I'm saying if I had to today, today, just off the eye, not record, not analytics, not anything else, off the eye test. If I had to pick two teams to go to the Eastern Conference Finals, it would be Milwaukee and Philly if that's today. That's just today, but we'll see how everything plays out. Good point. And then I also want to note that Therese Halliburton actually had his first career tri- triple double. So he had 26 points, 13 assists, and 10 rebounds, even though Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum scored 30 points. So crazy, but he, good he, for him. He might be starting yeah. in the All Star game. Yeah, it's yeah. A, that's a superstar performance. All season, though. All season. Mm-hmm. Facts. Okay. Last Saturday, the Warriors blew a 22 point lead and lost by one. Point to the Clippers. How do you feel about the Warriors' loss? I would ask Hill of that because the GOAT had the game winner. The GOAT said he had the game winner. He wanted me to tell you that. (laughs) They wasn't winning the whole game. And he hit the three for the game, so. This is my thing. (laughs) It don't matter. His name is Playoff P. They they, they really changed his name to the Playoff <laughs> yeah. P. We got to see him do that in the playoffs, man. Yeah. Um. Two big disappointments, to be totally honest with you, with Golden State and the Clippers uh, with the expectations coming into this season. Golden State is, they're, they're actually, uh, they're two games below 500. The Clippers are a game below 500. Um. If the playoffs started today, Golden State wouldn't even be in the play-in and the Clippers would be number nine in the play-in if the playoffs started today. There's plenty of basketball left to turn this around. Yeah, that's crazy. Right. So there's plenty of basketball left to turn this around, but how long are we going to keep saying that? <laughs> you know, how long? Hey, five games. Yo, it's plenty of basketball. Ten games. Yo, it's plenty of basketball. Fifteen games, plenty of basketball. Now we up to 20 games, which is basically 25% of the season. Yeah. And we said this is enough basketball for you. Look up. Trade deadline's gonna come in February, all-star break. And if they don't do if, you know, if they don't get a turnaround, cool. And what's happening also is this that teams are not gonna be scared of y'all like More. they used to. Yeah. Like, oh, we played our we they, teams are not gonna be scared of you. Secondly, um, I know Jamal Murray's out and Joker missed a couple games so far. But Minnesota leads the Western Conference right now. So you got, look, you got Minnesota at the top, Oklahoma City in second place, and you got Orlando Magic in second place in the East. It yeah, they're be- basically saying, y'all, y'all trying to live off your name, <laughs> and it's a new day. Right. You just haven't gotten the memo yet. Right. Exactly. I, 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 yeah. Let's see how, how long they could st- mm-hmm. sustain this, because, listen, Orlando... And uh, Minnesota, I'll tell you one thing. If this is if this is if this is going to uh, uh, hold up, I should say. Yeah. 
uh, Adam Silver gonna have to do some remarketing. <laughs> you know, yeah, for real. They, they gonna have to start showing shot commercials. I mean, Shea commercials. You're gonna have to start showing more Ant Man. You have to start showing what's going on in Orlando because this is tragedy as far as well, marketing. marketing yeah. yeah, as far as marketing is concerned. So they gotta need to figure that out because teams that y'all were not expecting to be in this position probably at this point of the season are in this position. And I think when I was looking at the the games, I think they're they're misconstruing what happens or what needs to happen to win. Like yeah, this guy can get 30, this guy can get 20, but we don't win when he gets 20. Right. We don't win when this guy gets 30. We actually win if he gets 15 and he gets 30, you know? And that's what I saw a lot of. Like, there's people playing great, as you're saying. It's great that they're playing great, but they're taking the the flow of the game away from the team, the team chemistry of how they got there. Also, on the note of the Magic, actually, Jokic called it. He In an interview, he was saying that the Orlando Magic was his sleeper team. So I'm curious as to what he saw that we didn't see because I don't think any of us had the Magic in our, like, top choices. Oh, no, so. I saw it. Oh. No, nah, that was... <laughs> you wearing blue. <laughs> you wearing blue. <laughs> the glasses. for the Magic. should have said the glasses was Orlando Magic. Oh, yeah, blue. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> My fault, my fault. <laughs> I, I'm no, no but we it. was talking about um, P5, but, you, you know. You was, you was. Because I didn't know who that was. I'll give you that. As far as you saying the magic. Not the that, magic, yeah, but you, you Because I didn't know who that was. You did. Yeah. Okay. So during the 49ers versus Eagles game, Eagles rookie Jalen Carter was getting a lot of heat for crying after being sidelined for a personal foul penalty. So in response to all the people coming at him for being caught crying. He said, I'd rather cry for losing a game than cry that I'm still broke. Y'all get your life together. And that's what he said. He said, I said what I said. So how do you feel about his response? <laughs> and thoughts on him crying. That well, we know he discussion. didn't have media training. We know that. Yeah, listen. I remember um, LeBron. <laughs> LeBron being young. When you're young and you're emotional, it's emotional. As far as crying is concerned, that game the day before yesterday, uh, Philly and the 49ers, uh, it was a lot of shit talking before that game and how the Eagles were talking about, yeah, they was boo-hooing last year, crying when they got off the field. You know, Debo Sanders was crying. A few people was crying when they lost last year in the um, NFC Conference game to go to the um, Super Bowl. So... Before the game, they was like, yeah, yeah, all them tears y'all was talking about, y'all could get y'all revenge today. So they got their revenge. And now <laughs> somebody on the Eagles is crying, and now he's taking it out on the public. <laughs> talking about y'all broke life. I remember LeBron did this years ago when he lost in a, uh He was still young. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, he was like... He said, it's just basketball. And yeah, it's just basketball. Y'all can go back to y'all broke life after this whole thing is over. I'm still going to be doing whatever the hell I want to do, whatever I want to do it. Uh, it's this, this, what's the giving? This is giving, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving frustration, <laughs> mad that they look like, back. yeah, if, if the Eagles would have won, I don't think he would have made that statement. So this is basically uh frustration. Base made a great, Point, no media training. No um, media training. Uh, they got smacked, you know. Um, yeah, 42-19, right? Something look, like that. Look, man, I, I don't know how old Shorty is, but that's some shit I probably would have said at the same age. 22. Yeah, that's a 22-year-old response <laughs> yeah, right there. Rookie. He was a first yeah. rounder, yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah that, he feeling himself. Yeah, and, and he a rookie? Yeah. yeah. He, he might not even got that much money. He probably just... Yeah, he, he might not even got... How much is contract, motherfucker? 21. Yeah, yeah. No, how much 21 make, million. 21 million in Philly? Yeah, and it's all guaranteed? He a bulldog, you know? No, it says 21 million in guarantees. Okay, cool. That's, that's not, good. That's very, very good <laughs> for, a, for a rookie. That's yeah, really good. Georgia. Yeah, listen, man. As he'll get older, he'll figure it out, but... I said, it sounds like a 22-year-old <laughs> response with $21 million guaranteed. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> Can't even be mad at him, to be yeah. honest. So I, yeah. I see it, because I would be mad too, but... Listen, man. 
It's, it's, look, and I'm not saying uh, we made it to any professional level. There's plenty of games niggas cried. I yeah. cried a lot of times. So several, several games I cried, man. I didn't stop speaking to niggas for a week or two. <laughs> if they was on other team or if they was on my team, it fucked up. <laughs> Uh, it's like a lot of people, you know, they want you to be professional and say, be, yeah, oh yeah, be professional, this, that, and third. And everybody has a different way of being professional. I'm not saying go out and spit on kids or slap people or anything like that. But look, let's think about Marshawn Lynch. He didn't want to talk at press conferences after games or before games, and he says, I'm only here so I won't get fired. That was kind of genius because that got him all type of sponsorships Afterwards, Skittles sets him up or other people <laughs> call him up for other commercials to where a person who goes to the podium every day and does the right thing may not have got the sponsorship dollars or advertisement investments that they invested in Marshall Lynch for him being different. It's different ways to be marketable. I'm actually curious because define being professional because we saw Caleb Williams crying in the sidelines and then after he said he was going to go home and cuddle with his dogs, I'm pretty sure, and then... Jalen Carter basically called everybody out and said, y'all broke. So which, how do you feel like you're supposed to handle it? You're supposed to cry and go to the weight room. Okay. What I would say is this is that, uh, I'm too close to that. Mm -hmm. What I would say is this, that uh, what Caleb Williams did was cry and say he wants to, he didn't offend anybody. Homeboy said, fuck all y'all broke motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Give a fuck about none of y'all. I rather cry over this than being broke. Caleb Williams said, I want to cry and just be with my dog. Homeboy took it out on the public after he lost. Yeah, so he, that's he, the, he, he didn't reach out for emotional support. Right. He's Caleb went for emotional support. Fair. Okay, moving along. A young photographer revealed he was suspended from the league after a touchdown celebration video he recorded with Tyreek Hill. Hill has now vowed to pay his salary after hearing of the incident. So one, how do you feel about them suspending the photographer? And then how do you feel about Tyreek paying his salary? I mean, from the beginning, if you're a photographer, that's the moment you're there for. To tell you not to get the big moment is crazy, especially on camera. That's where he makes his money from. If he if he doesn't get the right pictures, I always tell people that even as a photographer, it's not just to get pictures. You got to get the right picture. So if you know there's already um, this scrutiny about this celebration, that's the one you want to get. You want to get that picture. And when he started, when he started filming it, and then Tyreek reached out to him and said he was going to pay it, I think that was Stella because he wanted that moment as well. I, I I don't understand the story. Like, is it more to the story? Because he's a photographer. He's taking the pictures, but got fired. What is? Why did he get fired? So basically, Tyreek came to the sideline and he did like a flip and like took the camera with him. I guess that's like, you're not supposed to do that during the game. And so the photographer got the heat for it. They were like, you're suspended. So Tyreek said, I'm going to make sure whatever money you're missing, I'm going to make sure you get that money. But I don't even understand. Like, yo. That's crazy. That's So Tyreek Hill comes, takes my camera. Yeah. Does a and flip. Then, and, give it back to yeah. me. And, and I'm in back trouble. Yeah. Yes. Now, if I were Suspend it. You're not just in trouble. Suspend it for the rest of the season. Right. But if, if Tyree comes up to me and says, and you fight, no, you can't take my camera. You <laughs> asshole. <laughs> like, I, and then he doesn't want to take he, pictures for you anymore. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. I, no, that, the whole thing is stupid. I don't really understand. It, gotta be, it has to be more to that story that we don't know about. That's one of them shits where he yeah. did some shit. And you they was looking at. He took some other pictures that yeah. we don't know about. Right. Well, he did something around the organization. Something happened. This is not about Tyreek Hill <laughs> taking that man camera and doing a flip. This man was, they've been wanting to suspend him for some other <laughs> shit. And they using this as the reason to suspend him. This absolutely makes zero sense. I don't, I really, that's why I'm asking you, like, am I sure I'm hearing this right? I, I, I mean, Tariq Hill did say me and him got history. Meaning? Well, I was just going to say, I feel like it's protocol because he is a younger photographer. You know, they align different photographers at the front. So I think Tyreek coming straight to him and him getting that video. I mean, to me, it kind of sounds like hating, but I feel like. He said they, they go back or something. Yeah. That's why he felt like he could take the camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, so, so that's, that's what he that's said. What's, we got I knew answer. it. See, that's why you got to ask questions. Yeah. That's exactly why you got to ask questions. Just now I understand what happened. He didn't go through the proper channels to get the job. He, mm-hmm. That's what happened. Now the, the, other the red play, zone, Paul. Yeah, the red the zone. other players, is, the other, pardon me, the other <laughs> photographers is like, yo, I had to go to school. I had to apply for application. I had to go through fucking hell to get this job eventually. And all this nigga gotta do is buy a camera and no Tyree. And they don't make money off those pictures. Right. Now, they can't use that picture. Right. Tyree hired him, put him in the end zone, and said, go eat. <laughs> <laughs> I knew yeah. it was something going on. I knew it was more than the story why he's suspended. He said, we ain't gonna keep buying our images back yeah, from yeah, yeah, exactly. Very basically. Yeah, exactly. I know I, that's all this is about, nigga. That's Tyree, man. And the other photographers, when they told on the nigga, like, yo, this is this is I'm super not unfair. Anything, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly you know, what it's like. If I don't end up with the flicks that you wanted, just know there's another photographer down there. I'm not. You didn't hear from yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. Now, I, that's why I had to ask the questions because I'm like, it's more to this story, man. All right, we got to the bottom of it. That's what happened. That's yeah. exactly what the fuck happened, man. Facts. Okay. Also, on the topic of Tyreek Hill, he shared why he left Kansas City. He said. Pat had Kelsey and I was kind of jealous. I go to Casey now. I'm the side chick. I don't want no barbecue. I want to go to the fancy restaurants. I want to go to Nobu. So obviously he was honest about his thoughts. So how do you feel what about his response? What does he mean by Nobu's? What, what about <laughs> this was Nobu's? <laughs> he worried about Nobu. fancy restaurant. <laughs> he wanted to be Mahone's number one. What, is it, what did he mean? He's saying that him and Kelsey had a better bond than Try, Mahomes and Kelsey had a better bond than he did with Mahomes. That's what he said. He didn't want to be the side chick. <laughs> this is too much news for me. <laughs> what I'll say is this. I don't know if he was going to go. Look, it's a few things to address about this. <laughs> oh, my God. I goodness. think, he, I look, I wish uh, I would have had some time to look at uh, what we was going to talk about a little earlier before I got here. Because I would love to see uh, Tyreek Hill's uh, stats with Kansas City because he's breaking all type of records back before he even got to Miami he was breaking all type yeah. of records so I'm like yo maybe Tyreek feels off the field Yeah, they're going to dinner they're going to hang out they're going to do this that and third because on the field yeah, shit he's... was looking spectacular and he wouldn't me. have gotten that 120 with Miami if he stayed there and, that, and that's the thing about it that's what I was getting to it was more like okay y'all like Kelsey now I want to ask for something unreasonable I told you that earlier on the phone I said sometimes <laughs> I'm just unreasonable when they come to certain <laughs> niggas want me to do shit I don't want to do my prices be unreasonable so Niggas say, yo, what you mean? You want two thirty yeah, yeah, for four years. Yeah, give me, give me two. And then niggas <laughs> ask for off number two thirty seven fifty, and 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 a, and a, and a fucking and two cars. So uh, maybe he did feel like that, and maybe that's why he pressed on uh, Kansas City for so much bread, and they didn't give it to him, so he went to Miami. But as far as his act, their activity on the field, man, I wish I really had his numbers from Kansas City in front of me because he looked fucking great as far as I'm concerned. I think this is more about personal relationship and I don't know this for a fact, but it looked like Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey hang out and shit and it looked like Tyreek Hill might be the side chick after the game. You know what I'm saying? So, (laughs) like, yo, you don't really fit the image of going out to dinner with them and all that. I'm not saying this is all fact. This is all speculation, but I'm just trying to figure out why he would feel he's the side chick because I would like to know who had more yards that year, or who had more touchdown passes, or who had more receptions. Uh, I can't say for sure, but I know Tyreek Hill was kicking ass. I think this is all personal. We're going to go to break, and when we return, we will talk about the altercation between LeBron James and Ime Yudoka. Baby, I'm my own problem, babe 
she tired of hearing I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna be free Welcome back. So let's get into our underdog fantasy picks of the day. Tonight, the Suns will play the Lakers for the NBA in-season tournament. Underdog fantasy has Kevin Durant at 27 and a half points. Do you have him higher or lower? Mace. Lower. I'm going high. He's averaging like 31 right now. I'm going to go higher. Okay. Devin Booker is at seven assists. Do you have him higher or lower? Camp. Go higher. He's playing point guard. Should be high. Hi. Okay, and LeBron James is at seven and a half rebounds. Do you have him higher or lower? Yes. High. Go higher as well. Okay, make sure to download the Underdog Fantasy app and you can make your picks too. Okay, there is an altercation between Rockets coach Ime Udoka. He was ejected from the Rockets versus Lakers game after a confrontation with LeBron James. So in a leaked audio that is circulating on the internet, it appears Udoka says, stop crying like a bitch, man. Then LeBron says, we're all grown men. That B word ain't cool. Then he told him not to use that word so loosely. Then Yudoka responds, what are you going to do about what I said? And then he was ejected. So thoughts on the altercation and the words that they had with each other. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, man. Let me tell you something real quick, Mason. Yeah. In the comments, I seen something in the comments. <laughs> And they said, uh, uh, we're starting to like Mace better than you can because you got too many relationships. (laughs) 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 They don't even know it's not you handling it. No, 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 no. They said, no, not not the post. What oh. we're saying on the show. What I'm saying oh. is, I don't want to say certain shit. <laughs> Mace don't care about the relationships. <laughs> and I got too many relationships with people <laughs> where it's hindering my judgment. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to whoever said that. Yo, you offering. You was preaching. I'm blocking me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, fuck you. Yeah. Well, the reason I'm saying that is because just keep doing it. Don't, don't sugarcoat it. That's what, that's what I was about to tell you because yeah. it looked like you were about to maybe give a watered yeah. down answer. Um, don't sugarcoat what you're saying because they don't gonna, respect my relationships with I certain people. I was definitely going to start with my disclaimer on this one. Yeah. So I was just For like, all you know, of those watching, you know, People count on us to tell the truth. They listen to sports every other place, but here they get the unbiased, unadulterated truth. And that's what they come here for. That's why That's why Cam said, you know what? I could do this show with anybody, but I got to have Mace there. And this is why. What I'm about to tell you right now, don't hold Cam responsible for this. Don't hold Stat responsible for this. Not even me, because I wasn't even saying this. I was hacked. <laughs> so, camera, go to stat and come back, because this is hacked. All right. Now, this is what my hacked brain would say. Yo, LeBron, you got to stop whining, for real. If I thought about this, I mean, any other day, I would say it like this. You did this same thing to Draymond, right? And you snuck a championship with doing this. You said that Draymond invited you or something crazy like that, whimpery to Draymond, got him kicked out, and y'all ended up winning that championship. I still kind of don't count that, but I do because of what you did. Now, on the basis of Cam, because you're Cam's guy, right? <laughs> I'm, 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 I got my gloves on, you know? <laughs> but I'm going to take them off now, you know? You were supposed to slap you, Doka, you know? Just just go ahead and let them know you're not protected by the refs because people are starting to think you're protected by the refs. That's my first take. I got second and third, but that's my first take. They're starting to say you're protected by the league, you're protected by the refs. 
And people are feeling like, this y'all king? Put the camera on Cam. This y'all king? (laughs) 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 You know, that's just my first take. Well, it's my go. Yeah. And if I don't like how you answer in it, I'm coming with the second take. (laughs) Yo, listen. I got relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to LeBron. Yeah. Shout out to Ohio, you know, <laughs> period. <laughs> Look, it's, it's two things um, about this. It's, it's, and both of them for me, yeah. it's two different things. So I don't know. If, if he said you're bitching, that's like. You want it. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm like I'm trying to say if if I'm if I'm in, and, and like yo, if a nigga, you know that's that's it, it, that almost could lead to something, but not as quick as calling me a bitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So when a nigga be like, yo, come on, stop bitching, you be like, shut up, nigga, I ain't bitching. You a bitch, you bitching this. But for a nigga be like, yo, you bitch ass nigga. That's different. That's, hold on now. Wait, yeah, that's hold one on. two cross no, yeah, and wrinkle yeah. his jersey. So that's why I was trying to get the specific language on it because yeah, he didn't it, call him a b. He said he was. He was. He was bitching. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, uh, like I said, that isn't that. Is, I mean, it's borderline, but it ain't calling me a bitch. If you use, if you say, "Yo, stop bitching," you know, shut up, nigga. What is you talking about? Da, da, da. You know, that's back and forth banter. But yeah. calling me a bitch is a problem. So I don't think LeBron should have took it that far. What I will say is this. I think that we got to the point where I've never seen a player do as much as LeBron. You know, he's a player. He's a general manager. Now he's a referee getting niggas, yeah. coaches kicked out the, the game. That's the killer I've That's the killer I've been saying, looking for. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, until the dialogue came out, it looked like LeBron looked at the ref and like, yo, get him yo, out of yo, here. Yo, get him out of yo, here. What the fuck is he doing? So, yeah. <laughs> yo, I, don't, I don't want him here, no. though. Yeah, I don't want the nigga here no more. You know, shout, shout out to my man Ray Ray <laughs> yeah. on the gram. I am Ray Ray. Yeah. Ray Ray had made a... Um, <laughs> made a post about it and I was laughing about it because, you know, he's a comedian from New York. Shout out to Ray Ray. Yeah. But he was he made a post. He was like, yo, we seen LeBron do it all. <laughs> yeah. GM, player now, he getting now coaches kicked rap. out. My second take is this, Killer. You know how soft rappers are when they get in beef with niggas? They start telling niggas. It reminded me of that. Like, if he's coming to the concert, I'm not coming. It's like you moving people out the game with your star power. That's what we call soft. Can you speak to that? Um, be more specific what you're talking about. Give me an example. Like, like when you're when you're a powerful figure, you right. have the ability to say, I'm not coming here if this person is here. I'm not going to be a part of this if this person is a part of that. Instead of like, no, nigga, I'm going to show up. You show up. Whatever. I'm good. You good? I'm good. I, so it's, I, it's a, like that same I, energy I, I, I in the NBA them. LeBron them. be using. Like, oh, you know, like like Mike did with Isaiah. Yeah. And like um, Jay-Z kind of did with Beanie Siegel. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, get where yeah, I'm going yeah. with it. Um, you get where I'm going. I'm sorry about that. That's guy. that's what we call that suck up. That's a suck up. If a nigga do that, yeah. Um, I think I just think because they were both there. It was one of them joints. Where I, it yeah, it's like, like nigga. He's talking to you. He ain't talking to the ref. What I would say is this. Yeah. So that's what I would say. <laughs> if he's talking this. to you, then I mean, LeBron, he 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 talked to his other gang. He, what I'll say is this: it's seven on five at that time. Oh, what I'll say is this: look, it isn't like uh, the coach could walk over to him. Yeah, he can't walk on the court. You walked over to him, right? So, so if you walk over there, that's that's my third take. If you walked over there for the smoke, why ask somebody to bail you out? Your point. It's like a nigga going across the street. No, they saying, you a coward. And then they come across the street and say, where the police at? I just about to say that when nigga, <laughs> your point is niggas start talking crazy when the police come. One of them niggas is mad quiet when police come, they get crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I know them. Oh, is man. that what you're saying about LeBron? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's wild. <laughs> 
I'm saying that's what they I'm not saying it's to you, LeBron. I'm saying this is what niggas wanted us to say. Hey, my last take on the situation is this. What I will say is this. It isn't like, like I said, that's borderline. If he called him, my, my final take, first and final take is yeah. this. You bitching, saying you bitching, that's not that bad. Call me a bitch is, is bad. So if he only said you bitching, cool. But then it was, excuse me, what you going to do about it? That's, that was different. Bro, that's when he got kicked out. It's, oh, yeah. Yo, Stop this. What I'm going to do about it? You, rough, that's what we doing? You think you do? You think, what's his Joker. Joker would have did. Yo, Joker. Yo, Joker. Yo, same thing, same thing. Same you Doka. Right. You Doka. You think you Doka would have tried LeBron? Well, look, this is another thing that we didn't bring up. Because, um, I mean, he he's hitting ladies on the Celtics, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. this you know, it's another thing that uh, we don't bring up. Yeah, that was a good point. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you know, you start getting white girls. You start wilding out. Yeah, not, and no, he's not every woman's favorite because pe- women love Nia Long, and they got a problem about what he did. That is he a great basketball mind, probably so, but that has nothing to do with um what he did to Nia Long. Um, I wasn't even gonna say none of that. You brought Nia Long into this. What I was going to say is no, that. I said he had white girls. You brought me along <laughs> into it. Because you know why I DM Nia after the whole joint? You cheated on Nia? I DM Nia after the whole shit happened, man. What I, did you send her? Hold on. I'm going to read you what I DM Nia along right after the um, Ndoka joint. As soon as it happened, I'll read, I read it to you exactly what I wrote her because you know I was. What? You, you don't need niggas doing you like that, queen. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was I was kind of <laughs> perturbed for. I'm gonna read exactly. Matter of fact, I have stat reading because she's a better reader than me. Oh God, oh, still ain't it's no a lot. Oh, oh, this is okay. gonna yeah, be yeah, crazy. Let, let the fan read when I wrote. This is right after. Okay. You, this, you is right after the, this is right after. This is right after the situation. After about, this is what I wrote. <laughs> let me hear the read. This is, yeah. this is not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's break the read. <laughs> I'm ready to good, read right now. Yeah, you're right there. I want you to read. That's what you're Let's rate the red. Rate the red. All right. I'm finna, we're finna rate his riz. Bet. Yeah. All right. He said, hey, Stink, I was giving you some time to yourself till I reached out. Your perseverance as a strong black woman through this turbulent oh. time has been something to behold. You shouldn't be taken advantage of and exploited as you did nothing to deserve this, especially all over these sports networks. You're bigger and better than that, period. You're a queen. And by the way, I'm a king. Together, we can achieve the greatness we were both destined for as a couple. Mm. Viva Viva? You talking different languages? Yeah. That means we have one life to live. Yeah, Pardon no, my no, French. No, no, clear that up. <laughs> I was <laughs> French. I was like, wait, what? what? I can't speak yeah, French. Yeah, Who did it? <laughs> We're not even done yet, though. We're not yeah, done I yet. Know, I ain't yeah, finished. He ain't yeah. finished yet. Let him cook. You're Let him cook. Get for that. You he really said, get for that. So he says the French, that means we have one life to live. Pardon my French. LOL. As I sit here sipping gazpacho and watching the best man, I was inspired to reach out because that's what I am. The best man for you. We not done. Hope to hear from you soon. My me more, or should I say, Nia more. I leave you with this. The most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely technical. Until the next time the sun rises and moon falls. Red heart, purple heart, red heart, purple heart, red heart, purple heart. <laughs> red heart, purple heart, red heart, purple heart. Red heart, purple heart. Red heart, purple heart. Right. I had to do the. So, Ray his Riz. 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 Yeah, I might have broke the charts with that Riz. That Riz was crazy, yeah, man. Riz is on 10. I said, yeah, I went. I Neil went. Moore is yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah, Neil, yeah. Neil Moore is crazy. We might need to make that t shirt yeah, yeah, right yeah. there. Neil Moore. Yeah, it's my Neil Moore, Neil not my, Moore. my Neil Moore, man. That was good. Yeah. Hey, thank you, that man. Was that was good, Riz. That was good, Riz. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. in trouble. Yeah. 
joking for my bad LeBron. You joking so Cam DM and took it out on you. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I went, I went gaspacho <laughs> and all that on him, man. Yeah, my, <laughs> my bad up. King Jimmy. You joking is having a hard time. Yeah, he but, went out there and saw nah, killing man, the I, DM. I, I, I respect that y'all respected my riz and all that, yeah. man. But when I, I wasn't gonna bring that up. Baseball <laughs> nigga into this, my boo. <laughs> you yeah. open your DMs when you get a chance, man. It's, it's still sitting there so you can read it personally. It's public now. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I was going to say was that LeBron used to kill uh, the coach when the coach was playing. Yeah. yeah. Like, niggas not remembering it. You know, LeBron been around a long time. LeBron played against a lot of fun, father-son combinations, um, et cetera. And now you got niggas coaching that he bust their ass and he's still a fucking probably top 10 player in the NBA right now. So niggas is like, if I was LeBron, I'd be like, shut your ass up, nigga. You still, nah, look at you coaching. I was busting your ass 10, 11 years ago when you played with Portland, when yeah. you played the Spurs. Don't act like you ain't come off the bench and I was giving you the business. So yeah. a lot of times it's more than just that moment. It's other personal things that get involved uh, with coaches and players because they have history. But like they say, it's always a girl in the equation. That's what I heard when I saw that. I forgot that. I said, this nigga kill a DM near more. <laughs> and then LeBron probably walked over there and, and said what he said. And they were already talking about that. You know, nigga get the ear hustling hey, man, <laughs> and leave yeah. the pillow talking, right? I go. Yeah. Um, pocket watching, lead. Pocket Listen, watching. pocket watching, lead the ear hustling, and lead the pillow talking, and after that, you backstabbing. So, <laughs> That's exactly what I yeah, saw. It's, yeah. So, nigga was ear hustling. Yeah. But also, in the long run, I am gonna say I feel like it adds more of a rivalry because now you got Ime Udoka, LeBron, then you got the Dylan Brooks stare down. So, I think a lot more people are definitely gonna be tuning in, tuning in when they play each other. So, now are you saying the Rockets are a team full of LeBron haters? I didn't say that, but I mean, I they feel got like Brooks and now they got the coach. I'm just saying, I feel like they got, they got, they standing on business. They got something to prove. <laughs> oh, so, shoot. I mean, <laughs> King is out business. King, you got <laughs> these niggas going crazy, King. Then Shout King. out to King. Yeah, T.I. King. I know you don't want to hear this. Shout out to King. He got everybody standing on business. Everybody standing on business. The Rockets look semi formidable this year, though. They definitely do. Um, are they better than the Lakers? I want to say that right now. Uh, Dylan Brooks, he's, LeBron is the reason he's in Houston right now. <laughs> LeBron is absolutely the reason he's in Houston talking crazy to that man last year in the playoffs and then got them eliminated. What I am looking forward to is let me take a look bringing that up, bringing that actual scenario up. What I will say is this. We have officially... Six games till John Morant gets back, man. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit is about, yo, I'm so fucking hyped, bro. Yo, six games to John. What you think, Murder? Yeah. <laughs> I might wear my light blue every day that yeah. week. Yeah. When John get back. Yeah, I'm, yo, I'm not going to lie. The, you, John's with the game's been missing. Yeah, I ain't going right. to front. I am not going to lie. I'm super excited, pause, to see John Moran back on the court because what I don't want him to do is, uh, and he going to do it, uh, go crazy. From yeah. the, like, he a nigga try to take off sideways from the foul threes, line. He can't be doing none of this. <laughs> yeah. <and> none of <laughs> that. <laughs> he he can't said, be doing yeah, none of that. That's the shit don't that got my none nigga. of that, that's nah, We on your side. That's the shit. Uh, you know, I talk, we, we had Swaggy P on the show uh, first season. Uh, you know, shout out to the homie, my, my boy, uh, our boy, uh, Gilbert Arenas. Yeah. You know, Gilbert got suspended for the guns and they can Gil come out the huddle tub outside. <laughs> Gil a wild nigga, man. So uh I don't know. I can't say I don't know if John Moran's not gonna do that. John Moran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't I can't put that on him. I, I am very excited to see him play. Right, me too. Okay, moving along. In an interview, former Mavs player and NBA champion Dirk Nowitzki revealed his childhood crushes. He named Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown. So how do you feel about his picks? I knew Dirk was a nigga, yo. 
I knew Dirk. I knew there was a reason we we like Dirk. You know, Dirk, Foxy Brown, and Lord Kim. Yeah, the nigga got ratchet taste. <laughs> he definitely does. It's a lead and ratchet. It's a lead and ratchet. Shout out to Foxy. Shout out to Lil' Kim. I can't say much. Those are my peoples. I love them. Like he like our old joints. (laughs) 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 Dirk won us. Dirk, you won us, Dirk. I think you had one I had one. I think I don't know. Maybe I'm bugging. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I do, I'm, just, I can't, no I'm just talking this shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. If I'm not mistaken, I was trying to Google it. Um, I think Dirk Dirk had a baby with a prostitute. If I'm not mistaken, um, I think so. Going crazy on Dirk. <laughs> nah, I ain't trying to diss him. I'm just saying, if I'm not mistaken, I think he had a black baby with a prostitute and kept it and took. And I, I'm not sure. This was just all foggy. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, if you have a, a a baby with a black girl, the baby's gonna be black, Kelly. No, but what I'm saying is, I, of course, I'm just saying that I think it's prostitution involved. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> just, look, no, the, I, got, I can't look, laugh. Last yeah. time we said something, people took it way serious. Look, we we're, we're just here to tell the truth. We're not we're not into anything illegal. So you can stop trying to put that together. <laughs> let me let me let me. Put you together right quick. <laughs> Don't ever come for me and kill her. Nah, ever and in, your nice mo- about it. in your in your mother's <laughs> life, <laughs> nigga. This is not this, this is not what you yo, want. I promise you all the comments say, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you like, picked I'm, the wrong people to fuck with. You picked the wrong one. You cause I can't tell you how much I don't care. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you how much. <laughs> <laughs> yo, because I'm gonna be honest with you, and he's more petty than yo, I am. I'm gonna be so. honest with you. Only reason I'm I, and and if need be, we will revisit this. If yeah, need be, we can revisit we, it. Yeah, but the whole thing this 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 is screaming desperate and yeah. and, and attention. Like yo, it really is. So I'm not going. But if need. Nigga, yeah. nigga, because niggas is looking for us. On we this have season. never, ever, 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 ever tried to take nothing from nobody. Secondly, secondly, we only we, like people that that we, we love us whole, more we a, than we, have a we whole, love ourselves. We have a whole segment on that. Secondly, who was looking out for us? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we were young. Yeah. yeah, who was looking out for us when we was? Listen, man, we ain't gonna give it no attention. But tread lightly. Be tread careful. Lightly. Cause I tell you one thing, I, I know a lot Ooh, of people are ice. Snipers and sharpshooters. S- snipers, sharpshooters, and I know people are ice. I have you escorted back up across the border. Be careful, be careful. I'm that, and it screams desperation. But we'll we'll get a petition to get you out the country. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna let you stay, but kill it. Nah, nah I'll like get out the stay. damn country. <laughs> I make I make two calls, man. <laughs> but I was looking back to dirt. Um. Yeah, the daughter name is Malika. That's black shit. <laughs> yeah, ain't no, ain't no white girl named Malika. Yeah. Did, did you find prostitution? I didn't find that. Okay, I I just, I'm not <laughs> putting no prostitution no, I'm sorry, on I didn't Dirt. Find I'm, that. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Dirt, if I'm wrong. Um, Because the story I remember, I could be totally wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm, I apologize. I thought he had a baby out of wedlock, however you want to put it. And, and, and money was exchanged and he kept the baby and took care of it. Uh, and shout out for that. No, absolutely. He took care of black baby. Absolutely, <laughs> which was his anyway. So, um, if I had the prostitution part wrong, I apologize. Um, but yeah. what do you think about him saying Foxy was his favorite? Foxy was a lot of people's favorite. My favorite, a couple nights. Definitely. Um, that's the homie. Shout out to Fox Brown. Shout out to Fox. Yeah, she, I'm Foxy looking down. Yeah, there we got a black wife, black wife, black and white kids here. Um, sorry about the prostitution part. Maybe I was missing for far as him saying Little Kim and Foxy. Look, man, great. Yeah, those are great picks. Um, Derek's close to our age, so absolutely, those yeah, are, the right choices. Yeah, definitely at the right choices. Definitely, a hundred percent. Shout out to Fox Boogie. Shout out to Little Kim. And listen, uh, I had crushes on them uh, before I got in the game, so definitely good, good choices, Dirk. Yeah, and just clarification, I didn't find much about that. I don't know if that was like a prior girlfriend or whatever, but 
he is with a black woman. They've been married for like 10 years or so and have a couple children. So, yeah. So, Dirk, we apologize for Cam, you know. How many kids he got with her? I think three. No, he got three kids total. Oh, see, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But anyways, shout out to her. Congrats yeah, on 10 plus so years. Don't ever think we're <laughs> ducking smoke. We're yeah. not ducking no smoke. I just don't like, have enough information to yeah. be like, this is what it is. But right. when, when we find out, we share and discuss. But shout yeah, out to Dirk. And, and, yeah. yeah. Sorry about the Because I'm looking at his lovely family here. So apologies about the prostitution uh, scenario. And... I don't know what she used to do before she got with him, but it doesn't look like prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow, uh, it's tomorrow. Can we talk about Josh? Let's yeah, talk yeah, about I, Josh tomorrow. I, absolutely. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just let you know. For yeah. real, for real. Yeah, absolutely. Let's for get real, it. for real. Yeah. <laughs> let's get it. You got the right one. Yeah. <laughs> the right one. Okay. Let's, yep. Okay, real quick, we're going to talk about James Harden opening up about his Sixers exit. He claims Daryl Morey promised him a max contract. Then he basically got ghosted. So a Sixers source denied that was the case, but James Harden obviously disagrees. How do you feel about James Harden's comments, and do you believe it? Um, I was going to say, come on, my nigga. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it, you know, he's <laughs> out. when so- I heard his side. Yeah, I mean, look, the whole thing is this. This is what I'm trying to say with James Harden and Daryl Morey's relationship. And I could be wrong, but because it it wasn't discreet on what we read, but from the um, talks throughout the summer before the season started, he wanted a max contract and then get traded. Yo, give me all the money and then trade me. Like that, that's that's the real come on, my nigga. Like, yeah, damn boy's like, oh, now I'm just a sucker. Oh, I'm a lollipop. Pause. Like, yo, that's what he looking at. Like, give he me the James max. James Harden, James Harden. Yeah. So give me the max, then trade me. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a real come on, my nigga. Yeah, Absolutely. he pulled the James on James. Yeah. What James normally do is get, you know, figure out a way he can do something different and then Go in a different direction, and that's what Dal Mari did. He know his mo. Yeah, um, I'm surprising. Look, James Harden's going. Seems like the Sixers are doing a little bit better without him. I'm not sure they wasn't bad last year at all, but um, seems like they're more comfortable. It's not a, you, you know, with James not being there and them having right now one All Star looks like Tyrese Maxey may be an All Star too. It's not a lot of pressure like when James Harden there. Are y'all going to win the chip? What's going to happen? Why are y'all on the three-game losing streak? When you got two superstars on the team, it's a lot of questions to be answered. So I think it's less pressure on Philly. They're underneath the radar as far as super, no, the Eastern Conference Championship is concerned because it's really Joel Embiid, uh, the one superstar they had. But we'll see what happens. I think this story's kind of like, it's cool, but it's water under the bridge already. And an, another thing to think about for all of you guys that are watching, and it is what it is, I need you to know something. If your name is already trash, they can't kick dirt on your name. Your name is already trash. Somebody got to tell you that. What, me and who? Like, when it, comes to, when it comes to, like, certain things that James have done in the NBA— his name is already not good. Okay, got you. So then to say somebody threw dirt on your name, your name is already dirty. It's like somebody saying, um, yo, God bless DMX wild out or something like that. Right. that that's not new news. Right. We're not going to be you. surprised. We know X is a wild boy. Yep. Long live X. Yep, RPX. Shout out to Rough Riders. Well, we're going to go to break. And when we return, we will talk about the Jaguars versus Bengals game. Don't go anywhere. She called this thing about toxic. Four years and counting. Got you feeling like an option. Maybe I'm my own problem, babe. She's tired of hearing, I don't know. My stubborn in me won't fall. Oh, oh. Dealing with this thing called trust. But she really 
Welcome back. So with Joe Burrow out for the season, Jake Browning led the Bengals to a 34 to 31 overtime win over the Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence was injured and had to exit fourth quarter after an ankle injury. So thoughts on Trevor Lawrence's injury and then Jake Browning taking the dub. I want to talk about Joe Burrows. You know, Joe Burrows saying he don't like that image of him sitting on the bench is crazy. But I, I, I'm happy for them to get the win. But it's almost like, but we're going to talk about it later in the week, like Florida State, when the when the quarterback get the win, but he's in the background. Niggas don't show no respect to that when that's a real tough thing to do, especially in any, in any league, whether it's college football or definitely in the NFL. And I think we got to start putting more respect on these um these backup quarterbacks that's getting wins because there's a lot of people that that are starting to make noise pretty much letting you know that they think they belong in the starting spot. I'm not sure if I'm going that far yet, but they definitely are, are getting some wins and some notable wins. Because if you beat the Jaguars, you can say that Lawrence went out in the fourth quarter, but he played most of that game. This is this loss uh for this loss Edwin is big implications moving forward for the playoffs in the AFC. Cause Cincinnati's now just uh one game out of second place, and the Colts are one game out of first place in their division, the AFC South. They're one game behind Jacksonville, and Cincinnati is one game uh behind Cleveland and Pittsburgh. And technically, well, three games out, they're not going to catch the Ravens. But uh, for the wild card space, um, spots Mason has been talking about, uh, <laughs> they're available. You know what I'm saying? As far as the individual game is concerned, uh, look, he got uh, Trevor Lawrence got outplayed. Um, Browning, 354 yards, one TD, no interceptions. Trevor Lawrence, 258 yards, two TDs, no interceptions. But... Uh, for a backup quarterback, he did really good. And then what Mace was saying was a great point, too. Uh, these backups are really coming in doing their thing. Look, Joe Flacco got up off the couch yesterday. Yeah. Joe Flacco was on the couch last came week. came in. Yo, came in off a hangover and yeah, got, yo, yo, got Joe Flacco been on his couch yeah. for two, three years, and this nigga was throwing <laughs> like he was playing the whole season. I actually watched, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't watch the whole game, so I, I um, after I seen the number, I was like, let me go watch the fucking, you know, I was, 15 minutes, I let the ESPN shit, but like a, a good uh, 15 minutes of the game. And that nigga was throwing accurate passes, bombs, uh, 15 yards down the field. No, he looked really good for a nigga that been on the couch uh, the last the last uh, two years or however long he been on the couch. But what I will say is this, uh, it's bigger than the game, it's bigger than the backup quarterbacks. This game had a lot of play, a lot of, uh, pardon me, a lot of implications moving forward in the playoffs. I think this would have separated the uh, Jaguars from the Colts. But now we got about four or five games left and it's anybody's division. I do just want to add, though, I hope all these quarterbacks start feeling better because we've seen so many quarterback injuries this season. It's actually been crazy. It's been like the season of the backup quarterbacks. So hope Trevor Lawrence is okay and he will be able to come back and play because... I feel like that's a problem. And this is when OJ, you know, would say his I was piece. just about to say, I swear <laughs> to God, I was just, just thought about it. <laughs> I was just going to say, lucky you saying up here right. today, boy. <laughs> right. But, you know, hope Trevor Lawrence has a speedy recovery. It's a problem. We're seeing it. It's kind of interesting. But let us know what you guys think. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you all for watching. And as always, it is what it is. Uh, Super big Max. Like when they doing them two for five.